Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our 10 minute ministry. My name is Peter Bates, and I'd like to just I'd like to just read a Bible passage, which is Matthew chapter 28, starting at verse 18. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And really, that's what I want to speak about tonight. I want to tell you that God is always with us. Just as Jesus promised there in the New Testament to the disciples, he was leaving them, he was going back to heaven, but he was saying the Holy Spirit will come and be our companion. So God's Spirit will always be with us. The way I want to tell you is that I want to speak about my own childhood. Now, I start when I was about eight years old, and one of the things was that I was scared of the dark. And I can remember a Sunday school teacher saying to me that if we're scared, all we have to do is ask Jesus to protect us, and he will do. And so I can remember when I was eight years old and I was scared, I would ask Jesus to be with me and protect me. Now, it didn't stop me being scared. There were still situations I went in where I was scared, but I knew that Jesus was with me and that made things a lot better. Now, obviously I went to Sunday school, continued to go to Sunday school, but then the next stage was when I was 12 years old. And I can remember, I maybe I'd had a bath that morning, my hair was wet and my parents were ready to go to church. And I said, oh, I've got to dry my hair first. And so they said, well, that's all right, you know, follow on from us. And so I dried my hair and took a bit longer than I needed to and, and I missed church. And I was really pleased about that. And I thought, great, you know, I've missed church. But then I thought, well, I can always tell my parents I don't want to go to church anymore. It's boring. And so that's what I've decided to do. But then I got thinking and I thought, well, if you don't go to church, you can't believe in God. And so I thought, well, if it means I don't have to go to church, I won't believe in God. And at that moment, as I was saying those words, it felt as if a friend, my best friend had walked out of a room and I felt lonely and I felt scared again. And so I said sorry to God and asked him back in my life. Now I carried on going to Sunday school when I was 12 and when I was 14, there were several of us of similar age to me and we were challenged by the church leader about whether we were willing to commit our lives to God, to, to come to church, the adult services on a regular basis. And we had about six teaching sessions on this and then we had to decide. And so on one Sunday morning, the leader said to me, well, have you made a decision? And I said, I am, yeah. Opposite our church was a row of shops. And so I went over to these shops and I stood there and I thought, and I thought to myself about football and about girls and other things. And I thought about God. And I thought, well, football lets you down, girls let you down. There's only God that is going to be faithful, that is going to be always with me. And so I made a, a decision of the will that I was going to go to church. I was going to commit myself to worship God 
in the adult services, knowing that some of them would be boring, but yet I believed in God and I wanted to worship him. And that was fine. And then when I was 16, our church had a mission and there were young people came to our church telling us about God. And they were so vibrant and enthusiastic and God's love just shone through them. And I just thought to myself, I want what they have. I want that relationship with God that just shines through me. And so at the end of the mission on the Sunday evening, these young people, they, they asked people to go forward if they felt, if you felt that God had been speaking to you. And I knew that God had been speaking to me, but I was just too embarrassed that he got out of me seat and walk forward. And so I didn't do. And I made me excuses after the service and I walked home. Well, my house was about 20 minutes walk. And so I started thinking about God and how much God meant to me. And just as I got home and I opened the door and I walked in, then I thought to myself, what's the most important thing in my life? And just then I got to the, the foot of the stairs and I fell down on my knees and I said, God, you are the most important thing in my life, the most important person. And at that point, it felt like just a, a, a cascade of God's love, joy and peace just cascaded over me. And I just felt this intense love and this intense joy and peace in my life. And I gave my heart to God. So that was an act of a will and an act of my heart that I gave God everything at that time. And I've never regretted that decision. There have been difficult times in my life, but I've always known that God is with me. And I want you to know that because in these difficult times that we face, God wants you to know that he's with you, that he wants to share his love with you, that he values you as an individual as you are now, but he wants to be involved in your life to help you through those difficult times, but also to share the joys. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you're a loving God. You sent Jesus to die on the cross so that our sins can be forgiven. So we do pray you'll help us to receive your love into our hearts. Lord, to always trust you, to know that you're always going to be with us, no matter what. So we thank you that you're a great God. Maybe you won't change situations for us, but you will certainly be with us to face those difficult times, to share the wonderful moments we have as well. So I do pray for each one person listening to this now and later on, that they may know your love in their hearts and give them to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening. And we have the Sunday morning service at 10.30. And we also have next Thursday, the 10 minute ministry. Thank you and good night.